Alright, yo, what is up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel, and in this video, I'm going to be doing yet again another video for this. I just was, I just tried to record myself, you know, obviously doing the background audio commentation, but it didn't work. I just went off topic for about five minutes, and then I came back to it. So I'm going to try and stick on topic. But for this video, I'm going to be talking about the latest news we've got from Techland and Dying Light just release date. Now, as you guys would have seen in my latest post. Um, Dying Light 2 is now in its final stretch of development, obviously meaning that all Techland have to really do right now is polish the game, fix a minority of things, and then um, that'll be good. Also, a release date is probably imminent right now because of what's going on. Obviously, there have, there's been a lot of rumors going around, a lot of false assumptions regarding Techland as an independent studio. One being that they've obviously given out Dying Light 2 to another company. They haven't done that. They've solely kept it to, them, to themselves. And I couldn't be more happier than that. You know, because Techland are obviously the core developers of the game. I love the fact that they worked on this game for so long. Think about it. It's been five years and they're still releasing content for this game. Like, you can't really fucking hate them. But at the same time, I can't wait for Dying Light 2. Uh, obviously, The Last of Us Part 2 is in... Early reach now, there's only a few weeks until it finally releases and I'll be able to get my hands on it. I pre-ordered the game, but I'm not going to be obviously sticking to it. As soon as Dying Light 2 comes out, I'm going to be switching up the content and, you know, staying in a, in a, fuck, in a diverse kind of loop. I don't want to stay on the same game. I kind of want to switch back and forth because I know that the more I play Dying Light 2, the more I'm not going to play The Last of Us Part 2, and I know that the more I don't play, the more that I play The Last of Us 2, I won't be able to play Dying Light 2, so I kind of want to switch up the way I play everything. Now obviously, um, there's been a lot of things going on, uh, obviously with Twitter, uh, I kind of don't want to talk about it, but I want to just briefly mention it, the passing of George George Floyd um, was a massive loss to everybody. Um, my condolences go out to his family. And there's obviously the racist fucking riots going on right now in America. Trump isn't doing shit. There's also a trending fucking. Uh, there's also a trending um, a hashtag for Trump resign now or something. It's funny because it's it's kind of true. Trump isn't a fucking. He's not a president. He was, he's unfit. But yeah, uh, what am I talking about? I'm Australian. I don't have any part of this, but I'm just speaking my mind. Uh, there's obviously been some sort of conflict between Techland's uh, producers and developers. <sighs> developers, sorry. I can't fucking talk. But a lot of things have been going on, and a lot of people have been over-exaggerating or under-exaggerating some of the information that was leaked. Uh, people are saying that Chris Avalon, who was a Navy, uh, narrative director of... Uh, fuck, I can't talk. I'm trying to speak fast because I don't want this video to be long. Uh, Chris Avalon, who was obviously the narrative director of Dying Light 2. Uh, he was apparently having conflicts with the creative director of Dying Light 2 and he squashed the beef easily with an interview. He said that there is no tension between them. Uh, there's just always that part of developing where you want to integrate a lot of things, but you can't, so you have to like think of think about it uh, collaboratively, and that's what they're doing. And I couldn't appreciate them more for that. And obviously, I don't want them to fucking rush Dying Light 2 because this Dying Light 1 is a masterpiece to me. I loved it. It's not as mu it's not as mu much it's not as much of a masterpiece as it is to The Last of Us because it's more story driven. This one isn't. Because it has a multiplayer mode, and so does Last of Us, but still, I played Dying Life for so long, I played uh, blah, 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 Last of Us since it released back in 2013. I love the games both equally, but if I'm going to have to say anything, I love this game more. I just don't want it to get ruined, because I just don't see myself playing it if it's ruined. Uh, as well as that, um, uh, numerous uh, news articles have been coming up, uh, basically around the same thing. Uh, obviously, with Dying Light 2 being in its final stretch of development, uh, there's a release date that is imminent right now. Um, and even uh, Taimon, I, I don't want to say his last name because I don't want to butcher it. I have too much respect for butchering people's names that I know I like. Uh, he actually stated that, you know, there's around 200 people working on Dying Light 2. There's a small group of people working on the release date and the announcements, and he really doesn't want to spoil anything for us. Which means that we're probably going to get a surprise announcement. If it's like a gameplay trailer or something, or like a launch date trailer or whatever, I'd be I'd be glad to watch it and react to it, like straight up, heads down. I'd be I'd love to do that. 
but the bottom line is that the release date is now imminent as the game is in its final stretch of development. Uh, they're obviously trying to polish the game up. I don't want them to obviously, you know, rush the fucking game. I don't want them. I don't want them to rush the development. We all don't want that. I don't even care that they postponed the game. Like it was meant to come out in spring this year. I don't know the spring times from here. Like you know, difference between Australia and Poland. Obviously, I don't know their spring uh, compared to ours. But hopefully they don't rush the game and they obviously postpone it. Not postpone it again, but hopefully they release it later in the year or early next year to where it's actually suitable for launch. And as well as that, that's about it with Dying Light 2 being nearly completed. Uh, I, like I said, I didn't want to over-exaggerate or under-exaggerate any of the information I just said. I'm going to be releasing... Uh, I'm going to be linking three news articles... Not even news articles, they're just articles that I found through Facebook and Twitter. I just searched up Dying Light 2 through Google and Top Stories came up. So three articles, I'm going to be linking them in the description below if you guys want to go and check them out. Obviously I'm not a reliable source, I don't I don't want to over-exaggerate or under-exaggerate anything because I have too much respect for this game. I love it too much, I don't want to you know lose faith in it. So if you guys want to go check out the information for yourselves, I'll leave the three uh, links in the description below, you guys can go read it for yourselves. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm gonna be taking I'm gonna be taking a break from Dying Light every once in a while because I just don't feel like going back to it. I really don't. But at the same time, it's what founded my YouTube channel, and I'll forever be grateful for the amount of support I get whenever I do Dying Light. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, hit the like button, comment down what you guys thought, subscribe if you're new if you haven't already. Uh, sorry if, if I talked a little bit faster in this video. If you guys want it, you guys can go pause at whatever time you want. But yeah, subscribe if you're new if you haven't already. And as always, peace out, and I'll see you all in my next video.